in the name of allah the most merciful and the most beneficent may the peace and blessings of allah subhanahu wa taala be on all of us assalamu alaikum students now today we will learn the new chapter classification of living things now first we must know about the classification it is the grouping of living organisms according to similar characteristic or you can say the classification is the process of grouping the living organisms on the basis of similarities and differences now why classification is necessary do you know the number of plants and animals that are found on the earth there are about 7.7 million species of animals and over 0.3 million species of plants in the world so can you study all the known plants and animals without any system of classification never that's why a need was felt to classify all the living things so there are so many advantages of classification such as it makes the study of living things simple easier and systematic and it helps in identifying different types of organisms it helps in knowing the relationship among different groups of organisms have you got it now we will discuss about the taxonomy and taxonomist now the taxonomy it is the branch of biology concerned with the grouping and naming of organisms or you can say the branch of biology which deals with the classification of living organisms is known as taxonomy and what is taxonomist the biologist who study this are called taxonomist or you can say the scientist engaged in taxonomic studies are called taxonomist relationship between taxonomy and classification classification is the arrangement of organisms into group and taxonomy is the identification of groups based on characteristic now we will discuss about the units of classification what is the unit of classification a species is a basic unit of classification now what is a species a species is defined as the group of organisms which are capable of reproducing among themselves and producing fertile offspring now see the picture it shows the levels of classification when species are grouped together into genus and genus are grouped together into family family into order order into class class into phylum and phylum into kingdom have you got my point now we will talk about the classification of plants plant kingdom is divided into two groups the first one is non flowering plants or cryptogams or you can say plants without seed the second one is flowering plant or phanerogams or you can say the seed bearing plants the cryptogam is divided into three groups thelophyta bryophyta and pteridophyta now phanerogam is divided into two groups 
gymnosperms and angiosperms an angiosperm is divided into two groups monocot and dicot now i repeat plant kingdom is divided into two major group cryptogames and phanerogames cryptogame is divided into three groups thallophyta bryophyta and teridophyta and phanerogames is divided into two groups gymnosperms and angiosperms angiosperm is divided into two group monocot and dicot one by one i will discuss here the first one is cryptogames or you can say the plants without seeds it is divided into three groups thallophyta bryophyta and teridophyta the first one is thallophyta these are the simplest plant and their bodies are not differentiated into roots stems and leaves and these are the simplest plant and they reproduce by spores second one is bryophyta in bryophyta true roots and stems are absent sometimes plants may have simple stem and tiny leaves and these plants are more complex than the plants of group thallophyta now the third one is teridophyta these are the most complex cryptogams in these plants the body is differentiated into complex root stem and leaves have you got my point the cryptogams is divided into three groups thallophyta bryophyta and the teridophyta the second division is phanerogams or you can say the seed bearing plants phanerogam is divided into two groups gymnosperm and angiosperm gymnosperm or you can say the non flowering plants angiosperms or you can say the flowering plants angiosperm is divided into two groups monocot and dicot now what is monocot monocot have only one cotyledon cotyledon means the seed leaf and the second one is dicot it means that the seed has two or di seed parts like a peanut have you got it now this is all about the plant kingdom let's revise it so that you can memorize well today you learned about the classification classification is the process of grouping the living organisms on the basis of similarities and the differences and taxonomy the branch of biology which deals with the classification of living organisms is known as taxonomy and what is taxonomist the scientist engaged in taxonomic studies are called taxonomist species is a basic unit of classification and the level of classifications are species when species are grouped together into genus genus into family family into order order into class class into phylum and phylum into kingdom now the plant kingdom plant kingdom is divided into two major groups phanerogams or you can say the seed bearing plants and the cryptogams or you can say the plants without seeds now phanerogam 
is divided into two groups gymnosperms and angiosperms angiosperm is divided into two groups monocord and dicord and cryptogam is divided into three groups thallophyta bryophyta and pteridophyta now this is all you have to do home task short questions question number 1 from the book define classification and what is the relationship between taxonomy and classification question number 3 name the main divisions of plant kingdom explain how they are classified long question question number 2 name the basic unit of classification how will you define it there are two short questions and one long question from the book and you have to answer it in your copy i hope that you have understood the lesson as well as home task take care Allah Hafiz